In today's video, we're finally going to be unboxing the two ounce Creatures of the North Silver Werewolf Coin. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today we're going to be taking a look at unboxing, reviewing the silver werewolf coin and comparing it to the two ounce silver kraken coin. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Got the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tees available in three different colors and the DYDSS Fight Collection, which is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, as I'm filming the video, it's Friday, but as I'm posting the video, it's going to be Monday, October 11th, 2021. Happy Columbus Day. If you don't celebrate Columbus Day, happy Monday. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the silver werewolf coin, something that I've been waiting for for quite a bit of time. Without wasting any time, let's just jump into it. But being the fact that I'm filming this on Friday and not Monday, I have no idea what the spot price is going to be. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So what we're going to do in today's video is actually show a clip from the live unboxing because I just finished that up in the VIP club. It was fun. It's always fun. That's where I do all of my live unboxing nowadays. So if you want to tune into live unboxings, come join the Precious Metals VIP club. So I'm going to show that clip and then I'm going to hop back on to share a few more of my thoughts. So without any further ado, here's the clip. Here we go. This yellow package has no silver in it. This has a small box of airtight capsules, like this one right here. So let's just get one of them ready really quick. I really hope I got the right size. I think I did. I think I got all the measurements correct, but I'll just show you what they look like really fast. Okay, so this is what we're working with. One of these. I could just take out that center piece and I believe that's the same size. I believe that's a perfect match. Let me put that to the side right there. Now let's get into the silver. So inside this package right here, I've had, I've, I've been waiting for well over a year at this point. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a massive fan of the Creatures of the North series. And funny enough, I only know what one of the pieces looked like up until recently, which was the Silver Kraken. There was originally supposed to be two released every single year for I don't know how long I was assuming probably like three years because Canada's they do a lot of series and sets and, and collectible pieces where there, there are about six in the set so I was assuming maybe two a year for three years not sure there was a lot of speculation because we didn't know when or what the new design was going to be and some people were saying that it was going to be sea creatures of the north and nah, I didn't think so I thought it was either going to be mythological creatures of the north, like the Kraken or Bigfoot or dragons or something like that. But then I took it even a step further than that. I was like, well, what if it's the creature of the sea, a.k.a. this right here, creature of the land, a.k.a. Bigfoot, Yeti, something like that, and then creature of the sky, dragons and griffins and things of that sort, gargoyles potentially. So point being, I've been really excited about this series ever since the beginning in 2020. Unfortunately, the second piece of the puzzle was not released in 2020 like it was supposed to be. And then the whole first half of 2021 had gone by, still no updates, and I kind of just forgot about it. Well, not really forgot about it. I just, you know, stopped worrying about it. I, I kind of accepted the fact that, all right, maybe, maybe the idea got scrapped for all I know. I mean, it was 2020 after all. It kind of butchered a lot of ideas and projects. So I was like, eh, would have been nice, but... Oh, well, I guess. To my surprise, 
the second one was released. The image was released. It was a werewolf. And it looked really cool. So rather than talking about it, let's just open this up. Finally went up for pre-sale, uh, I think toward the end of September. So you know I had to pre-order it. Hang on, let me... I don't know if I can... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in front of the camera. Awkward angle. Yeah, let me do it over here. Anyway, had to pre-order it. It was expected to ship out on October 11th. But I got a notification on the 4th, I believe it was. It shipped out early. Not only did it ship early, it was delivered early too. I got this just a couple of days later. It shipped out on Monday, and here we are on Friday doing an unboxing. Actually, you know what? Let me be kind of careful with this. I don't want to pull out any receipts that have information on them that I shouldn't be displaying. Yeah, it's all folded up. Okay, we're good. Okay, so. I did pre-order it from, as you can see, Hero Bullion. I don't get a lot of silver or gold online anymore, but I'm a big fan of Hero Bullion. They've hooked it up on more than one occasion, and they've helped me out tremendously. So shout out and thank you to Hero Bullion. Uh, they did not hook it up with this particular coin or anything inside. I paid for this with my own currency, but I also included... You know, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember ordering $2 face value. Maybe they did hook it up. I don't think so. Let me just... I thought it was just one. Uh, let's see. No, oh, maybe I did. It's been a couple weeks. I guess I forgot. But I, I, I guess, evidently, I ordered $2 face value of junk 90% silver quarters. Just some Washington quarters. Nothing special, nothing super interesting or super unique. I just really needed to uh, add a little something to the cart to put me over the limit to get that free shipping. So that's exactly what I did, and I'm a big fan of Washington quarters nowadays. In addition to that, let's take a look at this bad boy right here. Boom! Look at that! Look at that werewolf! Wow. Creatures of the North. Check out this creature. Wow. Absolutely terrifying. And then on the other side, we have the Queen. Oh, wait a second. Oh, my mistake. The Queen's on this side. Over here, we have the Werewolf. Look at that right there. Let me zoom in a little bit, get it to focus. Wow. Unreal. This thing is insane. So yeah, this is the Canadian Creatures of the North series. This is the second piece. Finally released. This is... You know what? Let me let me take a look off camera. Let me just I want to look at it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's one thing looking through a lens and seeing it, which looks nice enough. But man, if you guys don't have one of these, you should strongly consider getting one. Wow. Really nice, incredible. The trees in the background, the full moon up top. And this is one, this is, that is a yoked looking werewolf. My God, that thing's on friggin' HGH or something. That is one friggin' Joey Swole over here, muscular looking werewolf. Jesus Lord. Look at those paws. I don't know how far I can zoom in. 
I'm gonna use both hands to keep it a little bit more still. That is unfreaking real. And what I like, I like how the claws go over the rim of the coin right there. I like that. Check out those trees in the background. It kind of reminds me of the Pine Barrens here in New Jersey. Uh, South Jersey, where the Jersey Devil lives. That's what the trees remind me of, the Pine Barrens. And then as for the werewolf itself. Whoa! A pretty ferocious looking werewolf. Incredible. And look at the claws up here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Especially when you tilt it back a little bit. This thing is so 3D. Unreal. Absolutely incredible. I'm mind blown right now. Let's um let's capsulate it. And then do a, a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison with the Kraken. I don't know if that's really... I know it's slightly out of focus. It's all right. Bear with me. I'm going to just remove... Okay, so... I'm just taking out the center piece to get that nice black ring. You zoom out a little bit. I think I got the right size. I believe so. But now... Let me see if I can do this. Kind of difficult. There we go. Has a little bit of little bit of room in there, but that's all right. Let's uh. Wow. Unreal. Like I said, it has a little bit of room in there, you can tell. Um, it was a choice between... I had a choice between uh, two airtights, and I know there was one that was a, a tiny bit more. When I'm talking about space, by the way. So I figured, I was like, eh, probably... A, better a little bit too big than a little bit too small you know so uh, i went with this one same same difference doesn't matter could not possibly care less now let's do a little bit of a side by side we got the kraken and now we have the werewolf wow i am blown away Canada has done it again. They just have a knack for coin designs. They do an incredible job designing coins. A variety of different series and sets that they have. There's the, the Birds of Prey, the Predator series. There, there are so many Canadian coin collections that are just so unbelievably well executed. And these are no different. This is hands down my favorite series, my favorite set. I love these things. Especially now side by side. We got the Kraken, which has been my favorite looking coin for about a year and a half at this point. And now part two, the Werewolf. Wow. Wow. I won't be getting over this anytime soon. Wow. It's my favorite looking coin that I own. 
This is, I don't know, this is either a very close second or maybe even tied for first. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to let some time go by. I got to fully appreciate it. Oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful. It would be kind of interesting, since they are two troy ounce pieces, it would be kind of interesting if they kind of followed the Queen's Beast's lead and did a full run of two ounce pieces, and then who knows, maybe start releasing 10 ounce versions of these. Can you imagine a 10 ounce Silver Kraken or Werewolf? Good lord. Maybe. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy and appreciate the two ounce pieces. I also don't want to get ahead of myself. I once again I want to enjoy and appreciate what I have right here in my hand and not fall into the need for instant gratification. It's all about delayed gratification. But I can't help but wonder what's the third piece going to be? Because now that we have a werewolf we can just throw out the idea that it's going to be sea creatures of the north. Nope. That one out the window. Wonder what the next piece is going to be. Maybe it'll be a creature of the sky. It could potentially be a dragon. I think a dragon would probably make the most sense for a coin. But at the same time, I think the dragon's been done. I think we've seen one or two or 20 silver coins with dragons on them. So, I'm hoping for, if it's going to be a creature of the sky, a, a winged creature, that is, I'm hoping it's going to be either a gargoyle of some sort, or maybe a griffin. I think that would be pretty cool. There's not a whole lot of them out there. Other types of creatures out there, other types of sea creatures, other types of land creatures, there's, there's so many options. I would like to see a yeti, eventually. I think that would be pretty cool. But who knows? So many options out there. So many different ways that they can go. But at the end of the day, these are just mind-blowing pieces. Absolutely beautiful. Shout out and thank you to Hero Bullion for hooking it up. At least when it comes to the werewolf. I did get the Kraken off of eBay about a year and a half ago. Well worth it. Well worth it. Like, it almost looks... It almost looks frosted. You know what I mean? You know that frosted look that certain coins have? It almost looks like that. Yeah, the trees. Like, the trees are... I love the way the trees look. They're detailed. They're not bland, even though they're, you know, set in the background. They're not supposed to stand out all that much. They do stand out, but at the same time, they don't take away from the werewolf at all. In fact, I would say that they make the werewolf pop even more. They did an incredible job on this coin right here. Wow. A work of art. But yeah, let me put these side by side, for example, uh, or just so you can see. I'll put this right here so you can tell. You see how the Kraken, there's no real room in there, no extra space. But on this one, there is. That's literally the only difference between the two. I'm trying to see. The capsules are the exact same size. I don't know what the real difference is. I It doesn't really look like the black ring is any thicker. But I guess it would have to be. Barely noticeable. Uh, doesn't bother me. I just wanted to point that out. That the werewolf does have a little bit of wiggle room in there, while the kraken uh, does not. But... It's, an, it's a different airtight. That's the only difference. It's not that the werewolf is any smaller or anything like that. Just wanted to point that out. See, once I tilt it a little bit, you can tell. Same difference. Doesn't matter to me the slightest bit. 
absolutely stunning either way. And the black ring definitely makes them both pop. This is going to be uh, proudly on display in probably almost every single video that I post from here on out. Just like the Kraken has been for the last year and a half. I'm excited. I'm happy. This right here, this made my this made my month. The month of October, or should I say the month of Halloween, if you're someone like me, you understand that Halloween is not one day, it's actually 31 days. This made my month. We'll check in come November 1st. Maybe this will have made the entire rest of my year. I don't know, but this is just... All I can say is wow. Okay, so that right there was a clip from the live unboxing done in the VIP club. Again, if you want to join, the link will be in the description. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on this beautiful coin right here? I don't even need to go on and on and on about that. I'm pretty sure I've done that in the clip. This is just such an incredible looking coin, but I'm curious, everybody watching this right now, have you gotten yourself one of these just yet? Just in time for Halloween, the werewolf. Also, don't forget to get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and making a deposit of any amount. It could be as little as a penny. They'll give you two free random stocks. And then if you refer three of your friends to the app, they'll give you $150 fractional share of Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, or Google. Link in the description. Did you get one of these when it was on pre-sale? Did you pre-order it? Maybe you chose not to, but now that you're actually seeing a video of it, maybe you're inspired, you want to get one? Maybe you're not planning on getting one at all? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic when it comes to the Werewolf or the Creatures of the North series. What do you think the third coin will be? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and your thoughts on these two beautiful pieces of precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content bunch of brand new videos over there go check them out the link will be in the description trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers we just hit 2,000 and i appreciate that and if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way please consider getting yourself some dydss merchandise of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products t-shirts hoodies even stickers many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released kraken stacking t-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver kraken coin which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations. Got the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tees available in three different colors, as well as the DYDSS Fight Collection, raising a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on the beautiful Silver Werewolf Coin. Is this something that you pre-ordered? Did you already receive it? Are you still waiting for it? Maybe you didn't pre-order it, but you're planning on getting one anyway. Maybe you're not planning on getting one at all for whatever reason. And then, of course, when it comes to the Creatures of the North 
series. We have part one and part two right here. What do you think is going to be part three? What do you think the next creature is going to be? What do you think the next coin, the next design is going to be? Will it be another sea creature? Will it be another land creature? Will it be potentially a creature of the sky this type time around? Maybe a dragon, a griffin, a gargoyle, something like that? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.